For all her life, six-year-old Alice Simohoni lived with her grandparents, her legal guardians. But in May 2020, her grandfather died from COVID-19, leaving only her grandmother to raise her. Now, her grandmother, her remaining caregiver, is struggling not only with the psychological toll of becoming a widow, but also with the practical difficulties of raising a child with less support. We had a good family structure, but with the passing of my husband, it collapsed. I'm now earning just a fraction of the retirement pension he received when was alive. Thank God we are not facing hunger, but everything is much tighter now. A report published in The Lancet estimates that more than 860,000 children have lost at least one parent or primary caregiver to COVID-19. The children are broadly defined as orphans in this study. Brazil is among the worst affected countries with more than 130,000 children in such situation, second only to Mexico with 141,000. In the state of São Paulo, the government has created a program to assist these families with a grant of about $350, split in six monthly payments. Especially in, in families in need, uh, normally uh, they have one person that was responsible for the whole budget of the family. So this uh, makes a, a big impact and we see uh, families completely destructed by this, these cases. So this is a really a, a big program and a program that involves a lot of aspects of the social help that we are providing. Money helps, but that's not all that's needed to assist the orphans of COVID-19. The authors of the study on children orphaned by the pandemic say different measures and strategies are needed to minimize the impact of such trauma on kids and their extended families. It's hoped that vaccinations will help control the COVID-19 pandemic, but the impacts on families during this health emergency will have to be dealt with for years to come.